Yo, I remember finally saving up and getting myself an iPhone Pro. The first thing I downloaded was a 3D scanner app. Because <laughs> let's face the truth here, unless you're a camera enthusiast who loves playing with the advanced settings to turn an iPhone into a Pro camera, pretty much the only difference between your $1,000 iPhone Pro and a regular iPhone is this, LiDAR scanner. And yeah, it's very cool knowing that your iPhone can actually 3D scan the world and make 3D models. But wasn't the actual LiDAR result kind of shitty? And guess what? We fixed it. Welcome to the Curie Engine version 3.14. To really understand why the letter results are so bad and how we fixed it, well, we need to first take a look into how LiDAR actually works. Think of it like a fancy distance sensor. You've probably heard of radar, right? It sends off sound waves, and when those waves hit something and bounce back, it measures how long that takes. It multiplies that time by the speed of sound, and voila, you know how far away something is. LiDAR works in a similar way, but with light instead of sound. Simple in theory, but turns out there's a lot more to the story. You think your iPhone Pro with a $1,000 price tag is ridiculous? You should Google LiDAR price, man. A regular piece of LiDAR device normally costs $1,000 alone. So what we got here, it's, it's just a baby LiDAR. It has very limited resolution of the depth map, that means it captures general shapes but lacks the fine detail needed for high-precision 3D models. And also, you'll be surprised by how much your ambient light and surface textures can interfere with LiDAR and create noise. So, to solve this low-res problem, we introduce a machine learning algorithm to post-process your LiDAR data. Without further ado, let's give this new feature a field test and to see how much it improves from a conventional LiDAR scan. I've downloaded three other major apps to compare the results with, and our office kitchen makes the perfect example because, <laughs> because it's messy. So let's see how much detail what a LiDAR scan in each app can capture. In this comparison, I made sure I follow the same scanning path for all four apps, and make sure the LiDAR quality is set to as detailed as possible for each app. For the new Curie Engine LiDAR feature, it requires uploading the LiDAR data to the server for the machine learning part, whereas the other three apps only offer the local processing option. Although one of these apps also have this cloud processing button, but the final result just didn't look improved at all. So I'll just leave that option out for this comparison. And here are the results side by side. Check this out, guys. Look how much improvements we've made to the LiDAR using the power of AI. With this level of detail, we can do so much more. For example, if I'm measuring the gap between storage units on our snack shelf, low resolution LiDAR scan used to produce data that was too noisy to reliably choose the correct measuring points. But with our new enhanced cloud processing LiDAR scan, you can make the measurement so much easier. Although LiDAR is not really designed to have good results for human scan, but why don't we give it a try and see how much AI can improve the bad human scan. Here we go. It makes regular LiDAR scan very funny under comparison. Don't you think? By the time this video goes live, the Kiri Engine 3.14 should already be available to update on App Store and Google Play Store. And you know what's cool? If you go to our Twitter profile, you will actually find yourself a one-day Kiri Engine Pro redemption code. So feel free to grab it and give this new feature a try. You know, we wouldn't have made the Kiri Engine the best 3D scanning app without the support from our academic community. Same to this update. It is deeply inspired by the groundbreaking work from researchers behind AGS Mesh, Prompt DA, and Stable Normal. A huge thank you to all the authors. Your amazing research has played a key role in shaping this update. Having said that, we also want to find a way to give back to the community. Therefore, starting from this version, you'll be able to turn on dev mode and export the camera datasets from your LiDAR scan. 
It contains the original photo sets and their associated confidence map, depth map, camera pose, as well as the point cloud. So I hope using Curie Engine can help make your research a little bit easier. And if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to let me know down below. And that's it for today's video, guys. I'll see you later.